Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this fall look and I'm using the new tweed palette from Chanel. The Lay 4 Ombres Tweed Multi-Effect Quadra Eyeshadow Palette. I have two of them. I have the Tweed Rose and I also had the Couvrier. The one I have on my eyes today is the, the uh, Rose one, which is really called Tweed Brun at Rose. These retail for $88 a piece. I did pick these up at Chanel. Initially I was going to pick them up at Nordstrom, but I ended up picking them up at Chanel because we were in the store and they had them there so I went ahead and purchased two of them now there are four that come in the whole collection and the collection is limited edition they're all beautiful I just happened to get these two because I felt like these are shadows that I could wear on a daily basis there was a really beautiful purple one but I just didn't get that one because I figured I wouldn't use that one as much and then there was a really gorgeous very deep warm one which I thought was beautiful but I only wanted to pick up two. I picked these two up. Now that I'm thinking about it, I may pick up the other one, the really deep warm one, because I felt like that one was just like perfect for fall. I don't know, we'll see about that one, but this is the one that's called Tweed Couvre or Couvre. Um, but that's the one that's a little bit like warm with neutral shadows. And then the one, of course, that I have on my eyes today is the Brun at Rose. And that's these cool tone shades right here. So I wanted to do like a cool tone look using these. And that's why I only use one of them. Most of the stuff I have on my face today is Chanel. There are a few items that aren't. All the products will be listed down below if you guys want to know what I used. So yeah, so if you're new here, I would love for you to join my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you'll know when I put out a new video and yeah let's get into this fall look all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get started I am going to use my Jaclyn Hill eye primer and I'm just gonna use a brush to blend that out I'm just gonna use my one size powder to actually set my eyes. So I bought two palettes from the new Chanel line. So I just picked the two that I thought I would always wear like on a daily basis. So I picked Tweed Brune et Rose and Tweed Couvre. So these are the two that I picked out and I will open both of them for you. Let me show you how cute this little pouch is for the packaging. It comes in this like tweed pouch. Normally it comes like in a velvet type pouch, but this one comes in a tweed pouch and it's just so, so adorable. This one's called Tweed Couvre, but this is what the packaging looks like. Beautiful Chanel packaging. Um, and then you open it up. There's a little plastic piece over the shadows. It comes with like this little shadow applicator, but I never, I never use these. So this is the one I got. It is somewhat warm, but the other one that was there was a little bit warmer. This one has more of like warm and neutral shades to it. So that's why I picked this one out because I thought this one was really, really gorgeous. I'm not gonna use this one today because today I'm trying to do a fall look with cool tone shadows. So I'm not gonna use this one, but I am gonna use the other one that I'm about to show you. And this tweed sleeve is like cool toned compared to this one, which is a little bit more neutral. This one is Tweed Brun at Rose. These are the shades that I'm gonna be working with today. I love these shades, guys. These are some really beautiful cool tones. This is what I've kind of been like gravitating towards is more cool tone looks. So I did wanna do a fall look using this. Even though I am not gonna use this one, the Couvre one, I am going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you guys can see the shades. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one for you. So if you look close up, you'll see that the embellishment is like a tweed-like texture which I think is so cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one for you. They're very, very creamy in texture. Oh yeah, they're super creamy. They kind of have like that pillow effect feel to them. It's kind of weird, but so nice at the same time. Okay, so these are the shades right here. So this one is the lighter shade in the palette. The lighter shade in the palette is more of like a little glitter topper. And then of course, these shades right here 
are the darker shades in the palette and they're just so so beautiful i'm going to turn it like this so you guys can see without the light like hitting it right on but those are the shades and like i said they have this really pillowy tight consistency to them i know they're going to go on beautifully on the eye the guy at chanel he's so super sweet his name is jason he is like one of the nicest people you'll ever meet he actually swatched all of them for me and that's how i came up with these here the ones that i wanted all right so we're gonna go ahead and go in with this one i'm gonna go in with this wayne goss 06 brush i'm gonna do a little technique that he showed me he said for my transition color or my crease color to go in to these two first and i'm just going to go into my crease he said it's always good to do that to build color so that's why i did that i went ahead and just grabbed both of those oh wow that's so so pretty all right so that is those two shades now they do have a little bit of kickback but they're not like super powdery that's those two shades right there so now i'm just going to go in with the darker of the two and just kind of deepen up the crease with the same brush just kind of deepen it up just a little bit more than before then i'm going to use the same brush and i'm going to go into this darker shade right here and i'm just going to press that into the corner and just blend it out that looks so good these are like the perfect cool tone shades guys okay so now i'm going to take another brush I think what I'll do is go in with this MAC 242 brush and I'm going to go into, of course, this pink shade right here. Just put it right there on the inner corner, bringing it into the darker shade. Just kind of work that product in there and that is what it looks like. Just really beautiful, very nice, cool toned eyeshadow. Now what I'm gonna do is just apply all of my makeup. I'm not going to talk through this portion. All the products will be listed down below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a full face. Then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna add some of that Chanel shadow on the bottom lash line. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and finish off the eyes before I go into lips. I'm going to go back into that tweed palette. I'm going to use this shade and this shade mixed together and just put that on the lower lash line. And then what I'm going to do is take the pencil brush. I'm going to go into the darker shade in the palette and I'm just going to deepen up that outer corner. Add a little bit more shadow there. We're going to go in with this Chanel lip liner. This one is called Nude Brun. So I'm just going to line my lips. And I've been overlining my lips and then connecting it right here at the Cupid's bow to get a little bit more fullness. This is a new lipstick that I purchased from Chanel. I've used it already before, but it is new to me and it's the shade 402 Adrian. I actually got the idea to buy this from Nikki LaRose. I love her videos. I can just watch her all day long. She's so good. So this is what the shade looks like. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. Isn't it pretty? The last thing I'm gonna put on are these Guerlain Meteorites. These are in the shade, um, this is the shade Golden. I love this shade. It makes my skin look like very bronzed, um, very naturally bronzed, so I really do love these. And I'm just gonna take a brush and just swirl my brush in there. And then I just go around the perimeter of my face with this. And do you see how beautiful the skin looks after using this. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the eye look. I can use this palette like for every day. This is just a really nice soft eye look for the fall using these cool tones in this palette. So I really am loving the look of it. I love the consistency of these shadows. They're just perfection. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Take care and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.